I, I grew up really kind of lying and being quite sneaky so, and not being open so at all. So for you with your own children, that was something that you didn't want. You didn't want that deceit and those lies. You wanted it to no. be very much an open, exactly. an open conversation between you both. Yeah, I wanted it to be open and, and honest and I didn't want them to think they had to lie to me and hide. And if they did have a partner or a new girlfriend, they could say, Mum, you know, I, I've got this girl, can she stay over? Well, they're I 17 wanted... and 23, so at what yeah. age did you say yes? Well, I, at the age of 16, you know, my, they, I just, girls are, are interested, as you do, you're growing up, it's puberty. And I, I just was very welcoming and said, look, they, they are welcome to stay at the house. I want them in a safe environment where, in a way, I can monitor. Mm -hmm. I don't want them in a car or, you know, in a, 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 you know, say a park or somewhere unsafe. I mean, at the minute, there's so many knife crimes and acid attacks. I, I don't want them out and about where I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. I want them in a safe environment. So, so Anime, your, your upbringing as well, you went to a convent school, I Irish did. Catholic parents, um, sex never discussed. I mean, your sex education at school was a picture of two bunnies eating a carrot. Eating the same happened. carrot from different ends. And right. the nun said, this is how you get pregnant. Now let's move on. So for you, you were different to Lizzie because you very much sort of respected your parents' wishes. There was no deceit there. And of course the other complication was I shared a bedroom with my sister. So right. unless she wanted to be involved in the threesome, it wasn't right. really going to... It wasn't no. really good. Yeah, it wasn't an option. It just yeah. wasn't... The, the flat was too small and it would never have happened. And I would never have introduced a subject that I knew they didn't want to talk about or expect. So, mm. But that's not... It's not being prudish that makes me not want... Didn't allow my children to do it. I'm just of the view that home is not for the sex, drugs and rock and roll aspect of right. a teenager's life. I just think home is home. You've got one girl and uh, you've got, uh, is it three boys? Uh, no, three girls and one boy. Three girls and one boy, um, between the ages of 26 and 31 yeah. right now. Um, so was it discussed? Did they say to you, Mum, we'd like, I'd like to bring a girlfriend or boyfriend home? No, there was no big debate. When they, obviously they had friends and friends that they were dating who would come home and if they wanted to stay, all was welcome, but all was on the sofa. Mm. So no one got as far as the stair carpet. Do you know that for sure? <laughs> um, no, we, we did put dangly things, dingly things on the doors of their bedrooms, which is kind of a joke, but bells. it was also a little warning. <laughs> bells. A, a, door, a door decoration. It was a, um, a hedgehog that had little bells hanging from it. So it was that more... was in, so you could hear the doors opening. Well, I guess so. I, it was a small deterrent because I didn't want. I, I, my, the, my husband and I did not want them in the house. I, I don't think it's my job to facilitate their sex lives. I sorted out their education, I sorted out the work experience, I sorted out their driving lessons. But do you lessons. worry what Lizzie said then? Do you worry that they're going off into a park or into a wherever they're going that they're, well, no, they're, it becomes because, unsafe? Well, two things about that. It's somebody else's daughter or son. I don't know how your children are arranged, but that's in your house having mm. sex. So is that okay with their parents, number one? And secondly, would you feel the same about drink and drugs? Would you leave a crate of vodka in their room and a spliff? You know? No, not at all. Well, well, it's the same I, thing, though. Of course not, because um, sex is all part of growing up. When you're a teenager, you start to develop. You want to have relationships. But that's and not your job as a mother no, to sort that out. No, but I want them. them. It? It's going to happen. You know, it, this is life. It's, it's talking about growing up. And I don't want them in an environment where they feel, gosh, I can't tell mum. We're, we're having to go to the park. We want to get be close and have an embrace or, or you know, and just get to know well, each other. Not you don't, to an embrace. No, but you don't want them to, as, as I said earlier, to go to a car, to a car or to a you know some park so what or did you do? Hit around a, the yeah. streets. I want them in a safe environment. So when they were and 16, actually you actually when they were monitor. 16, you hit a gong and said, "Okay, it's fine no, now." No, 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 not in. hitting a gong, but they are <laughs> growing up <laughs> so, into adults. It's the same way I, when you, when you, you're, you're they're little, you let them make their own friends. You give them a mobile phone. They learn to drive on their own. It's part of growing up. No, are they uh, relationships? Are they girlfriends that they're bringing home, or are they bringing home a stream? No, of girls? not I mean, at Does that all. make a difference? Because if your rule is. I'd rather it be under my home. Yeah. That you can get on with it. If they're into casual sex with yeah, lots of people. Yeah, because it could be a booty no, call, couldn't it? Could be a no, call, not it? about casual sex at all, but it's about them having a, a girlfriend and it's not, you know... So I you're policing boy, that? You're policing I, who's suitable I, and who's not, are no, you? I, I'm letting them make their own decisions. Mm, well, that's okay? a Okay, and they are ruin. sensible. <laughs> Anyone that knows 16. my boys know they are very sensible. I've brought them up with respect. Yeah. They respect all What, all what about, what about the girls? So have you phoned the parents of the girls and said to them, uh, your daughter's staying over tonight, uh, so I'm just wanting to make sure that you're cool with that. 
Well, no, because I, I leave that up to them. They're becoming adults, 16, 17, 18. They're adults. They're not adults, but actually. They're they young people. They are very responsible. And there's more evidence to show that having a lot of sex when you're young is actually gives you self-esteem problems and all sorts of other things. And actually, do you know what? The, the Netherlands, so, let's just say, are much we'll more liberal. Live in the Netherlands. No, but you're but welcome they, to they do what you want with your children. It sounds like teen, you're making a decision, teen not them. Teen pregnancy, not at all. Teen pregnancies are so high here, and we have the, you know, the abortion rates are twice as high here than, say, the Netherlands. <laughs> That are much don't, more don't, liberal. don't you think that um, you say your house is your haven? Yeah, is there, an, is there, haven. An, yeah, is there yeah. an element of you going, you know, I don't, I don't want to know, I don't want to know, I don't know, I just don't let the world in? Well, no, there's a sense that, uh, that is the one place where they can go when they've had problems with boyfriends and girlfriends, come home, get into their own bed, read a book, have a bath. You know, it's gone on for years like this. So that They come home, it's a sanctuary almost now, that they're all living out on their own. Are there and different I, rules for boys and girls? Definitely not, definitely not. In fact, I think if you, if you start with the first one, which in my house was a boy, it's much easier to follow through on it. And it's a matter of respect. I mean, if they... If they know how we feel, then they just don't even attempt to do that. But and my kids, boys respect kids my home, on they holiday. cherish their home, and I feel that it's, it's wonderful that we can be open and honest. And when you're not, but that's, where there are, that's, that's where you become but a problem. I have four are you children. saying they're not telling you everything? I have, they, they know yeah, you, that but I don't want to know everything. A, I think fit. So do you let them get drunk in your house as no, well? No, I don't. Do you don't. let them take drugs? But no, I don't. But we're open and honest, and they have got problems. They're able to talk to me. We're like friends. Let's leave it there for the moment.